Peter Sirolimopoulos with a two Lesotho. We are now joined live uh, on the line by a reporter in Taquana and Gatane. Uh, Taquana, very good morning to you. And uh, can you tell us when Cyril Ramaphosa is expected to arrive in the Mountain Kingdom and, and, and who is he meeting? Yes, Dumela Elvis, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, is expected to arrive here in the capital of Lesotho, Maseru, later this afternoon. And on this particular visit, he is expected to meet key stakeholders in Lesotho. They include His Majesty King Lithia III, whom, as you said, has now signed a government gazette officializing the establishment of this Commission of Inquiry into Security in Lesotho. He's also expected to meet the government, uh, Prime Minister Bagadi Tamusisidi and his cabinet or members of that cabinet. He's expected to meet representatives of opposition parties here in Lesotho who have said that, that they want the commission to be heard in public and we now understand that that is what the terms of reference say subject to the commission's uh, approval on that sector. And also he's expected to meet civil society and church leaders here in Lesotho. Elvis. Now, Lesotho's King Letsia III, as you mentioned, has now signed that government gazette for the Commission's establishment. Tell us more about that. What is that all about? The gazette is actually an official document that says that the Commission can happen and will be recognized here in Lesotho. We have had the members of the Commission who are judges from countries in the Southern African region arriving this week, but the chairperson of the Commission from Botswana, Justice Mpapi Pumapi, is expected to also arrive now that the Commission is officialized. We understand that he had been in talks with the facilitator over the course of this week. But what I can tell you, Elvis, is that in terms of what the commission is expected to do, you'll remember that SADAG had two bodies set up. The first one was the pathologists and forensic investigators who were specifically requested by the government of Lesotho to look into the killing of former commander Ma'aparangwe Mahao. Now, the second one is this SADAC commission that is now established and that will look into the wider issues of security here in Lesotho. And we understand that it will go back as far as January 2014, where we had the bombings on the houses of the then police commissioner and the home of the girlfriend or lover of then Prime Minister Tom Tabadi Diabili Ramohudi. And um, those events also include the uh, rumors around the reinstatement or rather the removal at that time of uh, Army Commander Lieutenant General Tadika Modi, which were also followed by a court martial uh, for Ma'aparangwe Mahao, who had clashed with some members of the army. Now, there are a lot of other um, issues around that. The August 30th events here in Lesotho that are still, again, contested in terms of whether it was a coup or whether the army was taking over police stations. The other events being uh, leading up to the killing of Mabarangwe Mahao, the killing of another businessman here in Lesotho. So these are some, just some of those events, but they were a culmination and that ended up with the August 30th events, but also ended up with the killing of Ma Barangwe Mahao just a month ago. Elvis? Now, you did indicate that this Saturday Commission will look into the wider issues of security, but what is the Commission trying to establish at the end of it all? At the end of it all, you remember that the leaders of opposition, for instance, are out of the country as we speak. Uh, we speak to them from South Africa. They have, for instance, said that what they want uh, for Lesotho is lasting peace. And they understand that there are divisions within the army. According to the opposition, there are rogue elements in the army and they must be dealt with. Um, you will understand that there are members of the army now who are in detention, Elvis, on allegations of mutiny. You remember that Ma'abarangwe Mahao died apparently in the course of being arrested for that alleged mutiny. Now, Transformation Resource Center and NGO here in Lesotho has now come out to say, well, while the commission is going on, can those detentions be set aside, be suspended, so that the commission finishes its work? The opposition, on the other hand, has come out to say, Members of the army who are in detention, those who have fled the country while in exile in South Africa, should be given security to testify in this commission. So all of this 
is what everyone expects the commission to come out with. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, when we spoke to him earlier on this week, Johan Sekhaman, he said to us, they are looking as, as a government to get the truth of what exactly happened because nobody knows what to believe anymore in Lesotho in terms of what is happening. Elvis? Are the leaders of the opposition that fled the country recently, are they back in Lesotho? No, they are not. In fact, as I'm saying, Elvis, they have said that the condition that they will testify under is if they have SADAC security to come into Lesotho because they still believe that their lives are in danger. And this they have put as a condition for them to testify in this commission. They've also said that they want SADAC protection for the members of the army, as I've said, who are in detention and those who have fled Lesotho. Also civilians who have fled the country to go into South Africa, they are saying that these are the conditions that they want them to come into Lesotho to testify under. So again, we are waiting on the facilitator to hear whether the commission will honor these uh, conditions that the opposition wants to be met before they can be part of this. But they have expressly said that they want this commission and they are willing to testify and they're ready to do so. Elvis? And Takwana, thank you so much for that update. That was Takwana Ngatani, our reporter in the Sutu, giving us an update on Deputy President Sora Maposa's visit to the Mountain Kingdom.